What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Do I have a special couple videos for you guys coming up. Once every year I get together with some good old college friends and we travel to a different lake every year and we do some camping on the ice, some fishing and just hanging out in general and catching up with each other. It's that time of year. So the next couple videos, we decided to come up to Devil's Lake, North Dakota. I have never fished up here before and neither have my friends and we decided, you know what, let's give it a try. With that being said, I wanna give a huge shout out to Woodland Resort for hooking it up to the boys. Now, if you guys don't know what Woodland Resort is, it's a resort here on Devil's Lake, North Dakota. They plow roads for you, so if you wanna come up here and just pull your ice trailer, they'll do that for you. Or if you wanna stay at their accommodations on shore, you guys can do that as well. They have a hotel, attached to the main lobby. And might I add, the main lobby is very nice. They have food in there, coffee, they have bait, they have tackle, they have anything you would need, clothes. They got it all, they got it all in there. And you can also stay on onshore cabins, which we are gonna be staying in right here. And what's really nice about this is, it's right next to the bar and restaurant right there. But if you guys are looking to come up here and do some fishing, uh, hang out with some buddies, hang out with your family, definitely do it through Woodland Resort. They'll be linked down below. Make sure to check them out. Like I said, they have everything you guys would need between skid houses already out here to where you can bring something of your own, places to stay, places to eat. They got it all taken care of. But I'm getting kind of cold, so let's go inside and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be staying in the next couple days. Hello, sir. Hi. For those of you that don't know, this is my friend Ryan. He's one of the guys that we always go ice fishing with. You guys have seen him on the channel plenty of times. Big deer guy, big bear guy. You know the drill. Then we got Grizzly Adams over here. This is character number two of the video. That's G Babe. That's Grant. G Babe. Um, yeah. Look at look at these two. We're gonna tear it up. So right now I have Grant and Ryan here, and tomorrow Tyler Stitch is gonna be coming up, which you guys have also seen him in the vlogs. We all used to live together or go to college together. That's kind of the whole point of this annual trip is to catch up with everybody that you don't get to see that much. Um, unfortunately, Brett Lawrence could not make it this year. He usually comes up. Uh, so Brett, huge shout out to you if you're watching this. Also, huge shout out to your students over at Little Falls, Minnesota. How's it going everybody? But now, I wanna give you guys a tour of one of the cabins that you guys could potentially come and stay at if you come up to Woodland Resort. All right, so we walked in right there, and this is kind of one of their bigger cabins. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is, but you come in, we got a nice little area right here. We have big old TV, a nice fireplace, gets the vibes good. Uh, there's an upstairs and a downstairs. Down here, we're, we're gonna start down here, okay? Uh, kitchen. Nothing too crazy. It's very nice. So much cupboard, so much rooms, coffee maker, a place for everybody to eat. And then we brought our own food to put in here because we're going to be making our own meals. And then those are some Northern heavies that Dustin Wolf shot that they let put up, let them put up in here. And room number one, this is where I'm going to be staying. Uh, this room, it looks like has a double and a queen. So if you guys are looking for a place to stay and you need a lot of people to sleep, this is the cabin to do it at. You even got a little place to put all your ice fishing stuff, but Come back over here. Uh, this is gonna be your bathroom. And we, there's even a washer and dryer right here, which is pretty crazy. Hey, how's it going? Bathroom, looking very sharp. And then this is Ryan's room, the room he's gonna be staying in. It's identical to the one that I just showed you guys. Got the queen and the double, or maybe this is two queens, I'm not sure, but yeah, it looks awesome. And the best part is we're close to the lake. We're literally sleeping on the shore next to the lake. You can see people out there fishing right now, so waking up early and getting out to the fishing hole ain't gonna be too bad. All right, now let's come upstairs here and see what we got up here. We were just down there, we walked up here, and we already got a nice bed here. So as I was saying, these guys can hook you up with whatever you need. If you need a small room, you can get a small room. If you need a big room with a lot of beds, they got that too. So we got a bed there. We have a couch that pulls out, I'm sure. Another TV, dang, we're just flexing up here. And then obviously, very cool view of everything right here. Um, a little bathroom, and then another room up here, identical to the ones downstairs. This place is awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this might be ice camping paradise for anybody that wants to do some ice camping on the shore, 
or just come out and do some fishing in general. This place is awesome. It has the hookup. Again, guys, make sure to check out Woodland Resort down below. Um, huge shout out to them for making all this possible. But I think the plan is right now, we're gonna unpack a little bit and then we're gonna go out and try to catch some fish. Now, how I have it set up for this weekend, what the normal routine is gonna be, we're gonna sleep here at night, wake up in the mornings, go get bait, go get a cup of coffee or whatever, and then drive on their plowed roads to a designated fishing area where they already have preheated skid houses for us to just drive up to, hop in, and start fishing. Now, I have no idea how they look or if we're gonna catch any fish in them, but hey, if we get to drive right up to something and stay nice and warm, I'm not too mad about it. But I'll plan on catching up with you guys in a little bit once we get to the first skid house to fish tonight. What up, boss? You warm? What up, boss? Dude, this place is nice. We're about to get down here. We're about, uh, looks like 22 feet. Whew. Well, everybody, we just made it inside the shack here and uh, we drove out. Eric actually uh, led us to this little skid house. And fun fact, this is my first time ever fishing in a skid house. Uh, the benefits to these compared to an ice castle, they are a lot lighter. This is super light. I could dang near pick this up. No, I'm just kidding. But um, we got spray foam in here. Pretty simple setup in here. Looks like we got about, what, eight holes in here. So that's not bad for three people. This is gonna be fun. So yeah, as you can see, the fellas are over there. We got the heater and then kind of just miscellaneous stuff over here. And I'm gonna be stationed right here. We're gonna get rigged up and drop some lines down. And then I will let you guys know once we start fishing and how we're gonna catch these fish today. Well guys, it is 6.36 p.m. and the bite was a little bit slower today. The bite overall has been pretty slow the last couple of days. The weather has not been really good fishing weather. So we kind of knew going into this that it might be a little bit slower of a day, which it was. Uh, Ryan and I both managed to catch uh, a keeper each. Grant, still still not on the board yet. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, sorry, sorry for the uh, lack of filming and talking really. Uh, I just kind of want to get in here and get a feel for, for this lake because I've never fished it or these guys. So just kind of threw some cameras up and did some fishing and kind of slow. But I think the plan is right now, we're going to drive back to our little cabin, uh, make some food, and then get a good night's rest. And tomorrow we're going to plan on hitting this lake pretty hard. So tomorrow morning, I'll catch up with you guys with all the homies here and hopefully you can slam some fish. The next morning. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. It is 7.40 in the morning and the fellas made it out here. We're in the same house we were last night and we're looking to catch some more walleyes. Now, one thing that I forgot was my tripod and my buddy Tyler's bringing it up today. So. Filming for a little bit today is gonna to be very eh, just because I don't have a tripod, uh, but we're gonna make do, all right? So I'm not gonna get into talking a whole lot. I just wanna to try to catch some fish right now. So wish us luck. Start to the day. Just hey, you're it. already doing better than you were yesterday. Just take your bobber right down, or what? Yeah. Well, that's the first action of no, the morning. We've been we've been marking some oh, fish yeah. here and there. We just had to take on the dead stick. Grant just caught one, and Intro. there we go. Let's see if it improves anymore. One hour later. 
All right, everybody, it is currently 921 and a little bit slow this morning. I mean, the weather kind of crappy, so we kind of expected it. Uh, I think we have one eater walleye in the pail. Grant so far is MVF. Uh, for those of you that don't know, most valuable fisherman, so far it's Grant. We're actually gonna move out deeper uh, to a different house and try for perch. So the cool thing about this is we're sitting in about 28 feet of water right here for walleyes. And then I'm looking maybe a hundred yards away from us is another house that they have for us. Nice, warm, ready to fish in. That's about 40 feet that I guess some perch are in there. So we're gonna move out over there. Hopefully catch some perch because man, our bucket's looking a little sad right now. Dang boy, we just got to the second house and I Grant's already on, man. Yeah. What the yeah, heck? Maybe for a few minutes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, another little walleye. There we go. Hey, right on, brother. Yeah, Thank you. you. Well, guys, we just made it to the next house, and yeah, Grant already caught a fish here. We're fishing, like I said, this is 47 feet of water. Let me give you a little tour of this. So this one's a little bit different. It looks maybe a little bit bigger. The spray foam's white. Uh, not yellow like it was in the other one, but yeah, this is just our setup and yeah, we're gonna start fishing Apparently there are more perch here, but we just got a walleye so not gonna complain there, but hopefully we can catch some more Like they're just sitting down there just... hey. Hey. About time bro Jeez. Yeah, that's what it was Literally, as soon as the Dude, I mean, we were marking hell of fish, but they just were not cooperating. And finally, I made one mad enough. Oh, yeah, a little walleye. That'll be a meal. There we go. Catching whale eyes in 47 feet of water. We're marking a crap ton of them, though. Like I said, we're fishing 47 feet of water, which this is, I don't ever do this. This is crazy to me. Um, I decided to try the Frostbite Scissor Kick. This is the peach color, and Hey man, that's the first one I caught, so doing something right. That's right, you could probably do two people. Nice, Ryan. Oh, shocker. Shocker. The silent assassin. Big jump. Okay. Jumbo. Woo. There we go. There go. Dang, boy. Wee. That is a jumbo. That's sick, yeah. We that's going to eat good, huh? Probably a little fast. But yeah, no, it's going to be slabs. There he is. Here we go, leader. He actually ate it, boys. We've just been chilling here, listening to music, and uh, I was playing Clash of Clans. I recently got into Clash of Clans, and I got something here. Oh, a little perch. Look at that chungus. That'll eat. Look at that thing, man. My first North Dakota perch. Ryan just caught one a little bit ago. And as you can see, that's a nice one, and he wanted that little scissor kick right there by Frostbite. Man, this this deeper bite is better than the shallower one right now, but we'll take that. That's like a 12 incher all day. Tonight is the night to let it go. We put on a show. I wanna see how you lose control. This fish feels a little bit nicer. It's been a little bit since we've caught a fish. And there's a fish on Grant too. What do we got here? I gotta take this a little bit serious now. So baby, don't worry. I'm gonna catch this fish. No way, is this a smallmouth bass? No, it's a white, oh, dude, it's a freaking white bass. What John the Lusses hell? Ladies, dude. Ah, I'm scared to grab it. Hey, I wanted to catch one of these here. Let's go. There's one on you, Grant. Look at this freaking, this is one reason. I've heard that these fish come, or like that you sometimes catch them on devils and they get pretty big. And, uh, I didn't believe it until I caught one. It was kind of hard to feel how heavy it was because we're fishing 50 feet of water, but Grant, they're like, he's right on you. Give it, you can get one of these, man. They're aggressive. But yeah, I think we're actually gonna keep this because, uh, well, we're trying to have a big fish fry and like the bucket's getting a little bit full as you guys can tell, but yeah, I don't know. 
we're just sitting here slowly picking away at them and by no means is it hot and heavy right now but we're having a lot of fun Lemur again? Sheesh. Oh my god, this feels like another white bass or something. Oh, it's always a mystery. There we go. Doubled up. Yeah, doubled, oh. up. doubled up. Hey, Ryan and I are doubled up. Shocker. They hopefully not wrapped. Do you feel like we're wrapped? No. No? Okay. No, I don't feel you chugging. You don't? No. Okay, that's good. I think I got a white bass. I think I got a perch. Oh yeah, nice perch. Nice perch. You got a nice perch. Nice perch. Ryan has a nice perch. I have another white bass. Woo! Hey, this is a tank, bro. This is a tank. We double, baby. There we go. Uh, perch and white bass. Damn, Wayne. Fuck it. Oh Damn. yeah, Damn. buddy. Dude, these things are so much fun to catch, bro. We're gonna eat like king. <laughs> So here's the thing, a lot of you are like, oh, white bass are nasty, white bass are nasty. Low key, all my Asian friends, you guys know this. These things are low key good. There's a couple things you gotta do though. You have to bleed these out. They are a gamier fish. Uh, so by bleeding them out, that helps. And then once we do a little bit of cleaning, you can see on the bottom of the fillets, there'll be like some red stuff. If you just take off that red stuff, these things taste absolutely amazing. You get a lot of bang for your buck there. But man, these things are fun to reel in. Fun to watch on the live scope and really good tasting fish, honestly. It's very slept on, but there we go. Nice little double. Hey, there we go, boys. Right on. <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be another white bass. There's no way. There's no way that's something else besides a white bass. He's running at me. I think it's a smaller white bass. James, why are you chasing me? Oh, that's a big perch. There we go. There we go. Dang, what the oh, heck? Man. What's going on here? Oh, what you got What's there? What's going on there? here? That thing was aggressive, man. Yeah, that's good. That was aggressive. That's the first like, really aggressive perch that I've seen. Or maybe second, but there we go. We're starting to get somewhere now, fellas. We're starting to get somewhere now. This is getting fun. Oh, oh. John, Jeez. John. That thing came in and just smoked her. Yeah, yeah the but it's kind of acting like a perch though. It's kind of giving those key. head shakes, yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's running at me though. Perch. Uh, little perch, big little perch. perch. Big Dude, perch. the perch have been like Ooh. 10 Ooh. times more aggressive. Yeah. Good. Look at that. The scissor kick, dude, I'm telling you, they're they're about it. They're loving that. They're about the scissor kick. I just oh, got that other perch. The bottom here. There you go, another perch. Things are actually heating up right now. It's like, you're, we're constantly marking like three fish at a time, but like you'll get, it's probably like one in every like 10, 15 fish that'll bite. But when, the, when they do bite, it's fun. Sounds on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a eater perch. Mm. Oh, flip them in here, boy. Look how fat they are here. Yeah. You're just saying. I, the morning bite, I mean, this has been better than the morning bite, which is crazy. It's midday right now and 50 yeah. feet of water. Really Grant's know. marking some right now, too, but ah, another another nice heater. Dude, you guys got to get out to Woodland Resort, show up. Holes were already drilled. House was warm, catching fish. Got a pail of it. It's been awesome, man. Yeah. So Ryan just caught a 12 and a half inch perch. Yep. And then... We just had some more fish. We've constantly, like I said, been having fish roll in. And now I'm hooked up here. The cool thing about devils, you never know what it's gonna be. But I'm guessing perch. Oh my god. Tank, dude. Ow. Damn. One more? Tank, dude. Look at these things on devils, man. They ain't lying. Yeah, I'm curious how big this is. Golly. Nothing crazy. Just a hair above 12. But, oh man, this is why people come to Devils. To get big old jumbos like that. Beauty. Dang, Labor. This is a big fish. This is a white bass, 100. Grant, you keep watching yours over there. Oh Those God. Come out for you. They're aggressive as hell, Grant, so I don't see why you wouldn't be able to get one. 
Oh. Drop down a little bit, Grant. Just jamming some Keisha, man. Tell you what. Oh, these white bass. Things are fun as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bud. Tank. Cheesh. Look at that. These things are so much fun to catch, dude. Wow. Yeah. Just another beautiful fish. I'm going to put him back, though. Next on the grand, though. Well, fellas, I would say we stayed out here a little bit longer than expected. Yeah, we were supposed to be back for breakfast at 10, and it's 2.36. Yeah, what Ryan said. But we're actually kind of hungry right now because we haven't ate anything all day. Uh, so we're going to go in back to the resort, get some food, and then I think maybe hustle back out here and try to get out here for the night bite. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film that because my camera SD cards are getting pretty full, and I don't think I'll have time to dump them. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen after this, but basically we're going to go back now and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and let you know what ended up happening. Later that night. What I will do. <laughs> hey boy. So, John, you want to watch how I make this? What up? Yeah. So if you want. What's up dude? You finally oh, made it. I did. A while ago. Well guys, it is later in the evening and as you guys saw, we uh, cleaned all those fish and we're making some fish tacos. The boys are pretty hungry right now. So I'm gonna tell Ryan, or show, I'm gonna have Ryan show you guys how we're gonna do this. All right, so what you're gonna need is some Crisco pure vegetable oil, which is on high heat. Or actually, it's uh, medium? Yes. Yeah, medium, medium 70. Okay. We use garlic and herb breadcrumbs, which we are going to mix oh. with the original shorelines. It means this is a lot finer than that. Ooh, that's, so you're doing a mixture of those. We're doing a mixture. Dude, that's gonna be gas. We're gonna I feel get like. Them. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in this bag right now. Okay. Let me watch so you do that. Short lunch. Oh. oh. Powder. Fine powder. Ooh, your lovely assistant holding that bag for you. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> the breadcrumbs. Do this for Ooh, dude. Oh, that's gonna be good. No, have Grant Ziploc it up. And you get a little shake and bake. We're just gonna mix Shut. the powder in this. They are blending, blending, <laughs> blending. Stish, I want you to crack six eggs into that bag. It means we have a whole bag of fish. Ooh, we're, we're about to judge you really hard. Let me watch you. Where do I crack them? Wherever, you, you, wherever want. you want, man. Ooh, that's one. It's a textbook crack egg. Me and Grant are like a well-oiled assembly line. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, cut that one out. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fish out. Grant, you can open your bag. We are going to grab a filet, fillet. Ooh, that's oh, a white great. bass one Dump, too. That is like. a white bass. Look I'm at that, look at that, fully be. covered. Give it a little bit of that. Okay. Mind you, we should probably do this over the counter. Stitch, can you open this one? My hands are kind of eggy. And then we are gonna take it and we are going to let it drain, drop it in. Mm. Stitch is gonna close this bag. Mind we'll you, we're gonna, do this, we're gonna do this more in bulk, but just to show you the gist of it. Now, this is gonna shake yeah, it up. Yeah, this is what we're. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot more. We're gonna do a lot more, once. but just to get the gist of it, we are going to. Now, shake it, it like you mean it. It's like a shake weight. Now we are going to pull our fillet How that is fully coated. Ooh. Shake it up. A little bit of herbs. Looks a little fire, bit of that. dude. We're gonna drop oh, it into the oil. Natural. Sheesh. Let that cook until golden brown and then flip it. So you guys get the gist. Basically, eggs, batter, oil. Once that's done, we'll assemble our tacos. And yeah, that's how we're gonna eat these bad boys. Also, had an awesome day fishing, as you guys saw. A um, lot of fun. And this is probably one of my favorite parts about fishing, getting to eat some fish with the homies. You like that special sauce? Sure do. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you already dug it. Is yours good? Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. You going with some ketchup on that. I like ketchup. Really? Yeah. I'm just going to do this because it's a taco. Cheers, fellas. Devil's Lake, North Dakota, fish tacos. They're just swimming a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's good. 
I should have told you to get some pico de gallo. Mm. Put a little pico de gallo on top, but. That's money. Good job, everybody. You guys all played a role in it. Good job. Oh. Well, I just got done absolutely destroying some fish tacos. And I'm going to sit down and relax right now. Check out the view I have right now. Sitting here relaxing. Have a nice fire. Watching a little bit of basketball. It doesn't get much more bougie than this. So remember guys, if you want to do anything that we're doing this whole weekend, make sure to check out Woodland Resort down below. Huge shout out to them again for hooking it up. I mean, this place is absolutely phenomenal. And the funny part is we're only fishing or sleeping four in here. You could sleep a hell of a lot more people here too. So they got accommodations for everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about today's video. And let me know if you guys have came out here to Devil's Lake before and done some fishing. I want to know how you guys have done. So anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.